Hi guys, um, so I'm filming from my closet, which is weird place to be filming, for sure. Um, I just went through a situation with somebody I thought, um, I like, I'm getting, I, I get tired of hearing myself say things like, I thought, um, I don't know, I imagined our friendship was better than it really was, and, um, there's a lot of manipulation and lying, and I, and I don't even know why there was lying, like, I really don't completely understand it, I mean, obviously for the manipulation, for sure, but then there was, like, things in our friendship that I'm like, why, why even lie about that, so, I don't know, a part of me is, like, terrified because I feel like this person um, is a manipulator and a sociopath. I do not believe that they really can connect with a person, but they're really, really good at faking it. Like, really fucking good at faking it. They don't really care about um, the emotional toll that they... take out on people. And I've struggled a lot. Um, you know, I have drug addiction problems and the type of people that come along when you are addicted to drugs um, are definitely unsavory, to say the least. I'm a, a recovering drug addict who has relapsed a few times um, because that happens. And, um, I don't know. It's like when things get overwhelming, then I, like, want an escape. Which, who doesn't, right? Who doesn't want an escape when things get rough or hard? And, um, it's been really, really hard to find people I can trust. I really don't have friends right now because... Um, the people I trusted were not trustworthy people, and I knew that to, to a point, but I let myself, um, ignore it because I thought I saw a glimmer of hope in these people. And, um, they were not ever the people I thought that they were. And, um, I am cutting, I've done a lot of cutting people out of my life this year, um, for the better, but it's never easy. It's always fucking hard. And it's always a little scary. Um, especially when you're trying to better yourself and you're doing it alone. Um, I mean, of course I have family and, and things like that, but, um, some of the things that I go through are not savory situations and, um, You know, sometimes there's just certain things that you just don't want your family to know. And, um... A lot of the things that happen are... Definitely my fault. <laughs> I let things go too far, or I ignore feelings, um... I distance myself from people and family and just feel alone. And that's hard. Um, I don't feel like I connect with anybody, really. Um, it just... 
just, uh, I don't know. And you know, I thought that me and this friend were like soul, co-lined, like connected. And um, it just was really good manipulation on their part um, to make me believe that they knew all the right words to say and at all the right times. And um, it's been hard. Um, I have struggled with addiction my whole life. Um, wasn't immediately drugs. At first it was food. Um, and then it was pain pills. And then for a while it was sex. And then weed. And then meth. Um, and then I did heroin. I'm really lucky to still be alive. Um, for some reason I still am. So that tells me that there's a reason. And I don't think that everybody that does drugs is a lost cause. I don't think I'm, excuse me, I don't think that I'm a lost cause. I just think that I'm unhappy and don't know how to cope with things properly. And um, I'm just addicted to an escape, escapism. And um, this is me personally. But the people that bring you drugs and supply you with things that are not beneficial to you in the long run or beneficial to your health are not your friends. And um, I think that's why in my other video I said that I want to see the YouTube community come together and I want to see us really discuss things that are happening. I want to be the channel to really be raw and open and I don't really care if I get demonetized or any of that shit. It isn't even about that for me. It's about having a connection because I feel like right now is the time we need to connect the most because there are big things happening and I don't know what they are exactly, but I know that things are about to get really fucking scary. And I'm scared for everyone, but I feel like we all need to come together and talk about everything because there's things that we just don't understand, but if we connect with each other, we may be able to figure certain things out. So, tell me your guys' story. Tell me what's going on with you. I've been raw and open, so I'm hoping that you'll do me